What up guys, Disney Chubbs back at it again. And what are we doing today? A review of Star Wars Galaxy Edge and things to know before you go. That's right. Before we get started, um, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, it tells us that you care. And at the end of the video, hit that like. All right guys, so today we're gonna be reviewing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. AKA and, Batu. AKA Batu, tell you what to know before you go. Actually, thank you for uh, um, Disney Parks Blogs for that beautiful title. <laughs> Cause they have a blog. They Don't do. forget to check it out. Uh, it's very important that you look at that before you go because we're going to be pulling some information from there and um and experience and, and yeah we were, our, we were there we were actually there so the first thing i want to say is oh my goodness mind blown i cannot believe what these imagineers and disney did i i just i can't even put into words I can't. I was like this all the whole time. I was like, uh, yeah, like people's mouths were just wide open. Yeah, I, I, I swear to God, because I, I, I was like, I literally was uh, just in in complete shock and awe yeah. of everything that I saw um, that first <laughs> day, and it was like unbelievable. Like to yeah. walk up. And actually see the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, because like, oh my but God. the way we went in, it built up to it. Sorry, he talked. It, it built up to it. Yeah, it was super cool, right? Right. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I like the way we went in because I felt like it built up to it, mm -hmm. and it was just kind of like I felt like we we're like going through like a forest type thing. Yeah, like, it boom! was. It was crazy. There it like, was. I, felt, <laughs> I felt like we were like. Uh, on an adventure. So it but, was, it's really cool. Right? It was a cool experience it walking, was. even walking into the thing. And then you just, boom, the Chewie was right there. The sounds. Yeah, the, the sounds, sounds are oh ridiculous. My God. Yeah, it was crazy. The sounds were uh, insane. The mood, the atmosphere is just. The first night we went, it was nighttime already. So it was like twilight time when the sun's going down and you're gonna get in there. And so like we had a little bit of sun, but it was already going down. And so the first night was back to that night. And oh my goodness. I think that's what even gave it even more. Yeah, watching, just, I've seen it, the, the way that they lit up the Millennium Falcon, uh, uh, unbelievable. And just yeah, the Black beautiful. Spire Outpost, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. At night, the little like, um, called like the swap meet what, the what are they called the marketplace at night with all the lights and stuff oh my goodness it was it was cool. really pretty i thought it was pretty yeah. like it was so cool and like it made it look beautiful there's so much detail yes down to like scratches on the wall dirt um the rust on metal the holes on from those the holes, the blaster holes yeah um there's like look for hidden mickeys there's some hidden like, mickey ones there was like um, um but it, it's just it, it's just insane dirt like build up dirt it yeah, was really hard like dirt, oil too stained like water splattered stains, oil you know <laughs> it, it was really cool like yeah the overall look and feel of it was fantastic i loved it i they yeah. killed it like they so, killed it with that like it looked so amazing but you know what we walked in we were like this the whole time i noticed a lot of people were walking in just zooming to places we literally were just like up looking at everything because you really have to pay attention mm -hmm. you really have to look up so and look around details. don't just like go for something just i you know, know it, it, no, it's, it's it's hard not to to just go go <laughs> like i'm that in here you only have a short window yeah and we'll discuss about that in a, in a uh, minute in, in a minute but um the only you only have a short window and you want to get to what you want to get yeah. to um and we luckily we were able to have another um reservation on, yeah. on the following monday so that we were able to like Take our time that first day and yeah. then go do what we wanted to do. Uh, and I feel like Monday. because the first day was that night, I felt like it was less of a crowd. So it was it was busier that day though. I you think? think? Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe well maybe because it was the first day. Yeah. Anyway, so yes, overall amazing. I can't wait to see what else they're gonna do with it. Um, but here are some points and some reviews that we took in and. You know, we don't like to sit here and just sugarcoat everything because that's not what we do here. So, what would you say was 
like the main focal point of the whole land that you just you have to see. Oh, uh, the Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Hands down, the Millennium Falcon. It's the best thing there. Like it's, I would I, have to I, say, you have video, to. That's a have to. In the video, I said it's the gem of the, of the it whole is. entire. It is. It's um, their version land. of the castle. It's it's the castle. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. You're right. You're right. It's the castle. It's their version of a castle. Yeah. It's the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. That's what it is. It takes it's, your breath away. It's the gem. Yeah. Of the whole land, it's so beautiful and yeah. it's amazing. And it it turns on, it shuts off, it breaks down. It's crazy. It huffs and buffs. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and, then, and then to get to ride it, to drive it, yeah. to fly it, and, and to see Chewie standing next to it too. Incredible, and to see Chewie. It's so cool. You're like, wait, is this really happening? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did, like I said, they did a phenomenal yeah. job. Now, one thing I. One thing that I, that well, does that does happen is that of course it, Disney has to make their money back, right? Um, but everything in Batu is, is super, super expensive. expensive. There are Ridiculous. there are a couple things to do there. So let's, let's okay. okay. There's there was what the other ride's not quite up right now. They're gonna be finishing that supposedly the end of this year. Yeah. Supposedly we I don't should, know I for said, sure. I said maybe uh, beginning Christmas. of December, Christmas. Around They're there? saying Christmas, but we we also heard other things. We're hearing January. We're, we don't know. Sometime either the end of this year or the beginning of next year. If it's That's anything like the Millennium Falcon ride, it's worth the wait. Yeah, so there is only one ride, and we everyone knows that, so it's not a surprise. There was there, the main things that I noticed everybody was wanting to do was ride the Millennium, get a picture from the Millennium uh, Falcon, uh, the Cantina. Savvy's um, workshop. workshop to make your lightsaber and the Droid Depot Droid to make a droid. Those are the most popular Those are the things. things. To do. Oh, and the we'll talk about food in a little while. Um, but attraction-wise, because even building a droid and doing your saber, that's a, I consider it an attraction yeah. because you still have to wait in line. You still have to like wait your turn. You still have to take um, you know basically you're waiting in line. You're waiting to do. You know your lightsaber or your droid depending on what you're going to do and then same thing with the cantina it's a full-on experience in there and you have to wait in line as well <laughs> so let's start with savvy's workshop um you're going to need a reservation mm -hmm. and they do run out of reservations yes they do. it is very expensive mm -hmm. okay um it's 200 dollars yep. um plus tax which comes out to 215 dollars and 49 cents and no ap and no ap Okay. And you have to pay when you check you in. You pay when you check in to, to make your reservation. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then they give you serious. a pin, they give you a, a card. card, and you pick out, you, you pick out um, from, if you look at the video, I'll put right here, and you can pick out, and it'll tell you which one you're going to pick. Mm -hmm. The name of it. You have, yeah, all the names. There's you're, You have four options, and you go from there. They have pictures. And, and then, um, yeah, they have pictures, and then you can actually ask them. There's a little shelf. That you see on the video, oh, yeah. you can ask them to show you the parts and everything and, and they can. go over it. And they will. They're really helpful. Yeah. Oh, but by the way, oh, it's sorry. fun. You got to do it. Mm -hmm. If you have, if you're ever, uh, of course, if you're going to want to wait in line for the lightsaber, I, we already know that you are a Star Wars fan and you're going to love it. So it's well worth it. Okay. Hands down, it's worth it. Uh, next. Uh, Droid Depot. Unfortunately, this is where it gets a little nitty gritty for me. Great idea. Awesome to see everybody so happy. Perfectly placed, I think. Um, lots of room, lots of little stalls. They're very, um, they, it's like they spend enough time with you to make you not feel like you're rushing like that. Mm -hmm. But then they have an orderly fashion to get people in and out. Mm -hmm. I noticed that. So um, the little conveyor belt. Awesome idea. Love that idea. Like you, you get to pick, pick all out your, your parts, parts and a little basket. And in the baskets, there's instructions. So basically, it's kind of like Dunny Brew. Well, <laughs> when she went to go do her droid, um, she unfortunately uh, the amount of parts that though she wanted. They ran out so, of this. Yeah, the, the head, I wanted the purple, the purple one. one. And so she couldn't. She she wanted to get with. I mean, first of all, it is a hundred dollars to get to get a, 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 well, a custom droid. Plus, 9 .99, 9 .99. All, yeah, it's a hundred bucks plus tax, mm -hmm. and plus 
you, you get all the upsells, which are like uh, the personality chips, Sticker, the stickers, vinyls. different attachments you can do. So, mm -hmm. that, you know, it has like an arm that sticks out and all that kind of stuff for mm -hmm. the R2 or the BB. And a backpack to put it in. And a backpack and all, all that kind of stuff. stuff. So Mine doesn't you have gonna, a scarf too or it, what? It starts adding up. <laughs> so you can easily spend like 200 bucks on a roll. Yeah, like if you really wanted to and you just wanted to go crazy or you let your kid go crazy or your mom or whoever, um, you can really spend some coin. Yeah, you're gonna spend like money in there. If you like, want fully customized and mm -hmm. fully like added all everything, you're gonna spend like two hundred bucks. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. I don't remember. Do they take AP there too or no? Uh, no. Oh, so they take AP for stuff like this in the Droid Depot, but they don't take AP for the actual for the robot droid. for the Droid now. Okay, so in the Droid Shop, you can either make a BB-8 unit or a uh, R2, R2 unit, unit yeah. and they have all the like options for that, and you can kind of pick it out whatever. It's really cool. Um, I suggest you do it. Yeah. If you're gonna do it, I mean, it's cheaper. Yeah. The it kids love doing it. I cheaper. noticed the and kids were in there and they just loved it. They were so excited, like yeah. so excited to see the little kids so happy coming out. They're like, look at my friend. And one cool thing about this is that it is um, interactive. So like the, oh, the, yeah. the you got a personality chip. You got three options: a scoundrel, <laughs> rebel alliance, yeah, or um, first order. Yeah. Okay. And you pick those chips, and it just it reacts differently on the locations that you're in in Batu. So I think it's phenomenal yeah. to have that kind of an option. You also have different things like those. Each chip is like twelve ninety nine, mm -hmm. just like the lightsaber carver crystals. Um, also, but you do get AP on that. Yeah, you do. You do get AP on those. Yes, you okay. do. Okay, fantastic. So and then the <laughs> other ones, um, they also have stickers. Those are like twelve ninety nine. So all the basic, yeah. the, all the upsells are about. about 10, 5 to 10, 12, to 15 bucks, yeah. you know, a piece, and, and then you can just customize it the way you want it. Yeah. You know, so it's really cool. The backpack is, I think it was like 25 bucks, right? Yeah, but they ran out of those. Yeah. Um, the thing is, is that for me, I really wanted to make one, and I really wanted to make a purple one because purple is my favorite color, and I really love BB-8. I probably could have made an R2 unit, but I wasn't going to sit there and spend $100 and not make something that you really want. Yeah. yeah I wasn't yeah. about to do that because then the lady was like, well, and they were specifically out of the, the purple ones like this. But what made me a little bit more upset was, not upset, but just like, not for me personally, because we can go back anytime. Um, but for people who are, for, are like from out of town and a lot of people were coming from everywhere, like Texas and all kinds of, we met people mm -hmm. from far, far away. And for those people, they can't come back. Yeah. And so when they ran out of certain parts, they didn't let anyone know on the outside standing in line. Um, they're like, if you want this, you can buy a personality chip and this, that, that. They say that outside. But once you get inside, then we were good. Like, literally, he was ready to slide the card. I was already already going to pick out my parts. And then she's like, oh, wait, what what type of unit are you going to make? And we said, she goes, we don't have any of those parts. We don't have these parts, this parts, this parts, this parts, this unit, this unit, that unit, whatever. I was a little upset. Yeah, we could have just and I avoided just like, that whole line. We were waiting why line you, for Why don't you have someone outside telling you that? Yeah. And because other people have other things that they could be doing if they don't have their or parts. you know what would be good if, if they had like a like a LCD screen or something oh, that says yeah. um, what parts are available or these are sold out or yeah. something like that you know what I mean like a so, board like a board an of, information of, board yeah an info board like uh, that that tells you exactly if they have all that technology to do everything else I'm sure they could do that you like know, a part that keeps like yeah yeah that keeps inventory <laughs> right it gives you all the inventory uh, that's Disney. smart put a put a put a yes LCD, i like LCD that screen. it says the inventory that they have available and it'll yeah line up. i was disappointed. this way people will not be yeah. disappointed they're like okay i can switch it out to a lot of like literally i wasn't the only person who left and then and then i was like i don't want it so she had to avoid it out of the computer she was not happy about that but i'm just like you know what do you expect people are not going to sit here and drop money on something that they don't want because she's like you can get the sandwich head one and i was like i don't want that i want the dome one yeah. so that was a letdown but i can't wait to go back and try to make another one hopefully they have parts i think i want to make one. um but make, if she really... wants to make a rebel one i want to make I don't know. I'm in between the scoundrel and the first order because I didn't know you could make a scoundrel. But the Droid Depot is really cool. Yeah, I think it's hands super down. Cool. You that's can buy awesome an thing. actual R2 D2 And he's roaming around there for like thirty. Like, I think it was like thirty thousand dollars or thirty thousand credits. They say twenty-five. Was it twenty-five? Twenty-five thousand credits. Oh, I was like, oh my no god. AP. It's real. It's mm -hmm. a real R2. Unit. And he talks and he takes pictures of you. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have twenty-five thousand credits. 
I went. And <laughs> they did buy him. Somebody he was went. there. We went back. No there. Um, the next thing besides, and you guys, the Droid Depot is awesome. I love that store. So cool. They have some other things besides the droids. They have like little headbands like this, mm -hmm. and they have jewelry and bags and lounge fly bags and all kinds of crazy stuff. Anything that had to do with a droid, you will find it there. Yeah. Uh, the next thing, so we had Savvy's Droid Depot. The next thing that everybody the, run literally runs for the is the cantina. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so we didn't make it to the cantina on the first day because they had no more reservations and we didn't know you had to make one. No one told us. Literally, um, our friend Jonathan, and you saw him in the video, he was in the lightsaber video with me. Um, he went directly to the cantina line and it was outside of Batu. It was literally in Frontierland. Yeah. Literally, like they're like, oh, which I thought was funny because like once you get your band on, you can't go back out. Once you go back out, you can't come back in. But they're putting them out in the line. I'm like, you might have to go wait a trail while you're out there. Yeah, might as well. Like, you know? Yeah. So anyways, that line ridiculous. is ridiculous. People are serious about the cantina. Like yeah. they and, want to get in there. Okay, once we got in there, it was super cool to yeah. walk in and it was amazing that Right when I walked in, they were playing that little cantina. I love that song. Okay, it's super cool. The it was song. amazing. It was cool to watch DJ Rex in there <laughs> as well. You know, DJ Rex is from Star Tours. Yeah, he's the pilot in Star and Tours. And so he like malfunctions. Yeah, he malfunctions. When he's like DJ, he at where he's at. He says stuff from Star Tours. Yeah. He's like light speed. I'm like wait to Endor, and I'm like no, no. It's really cool. Yeah, it's super cool. And then that's where it stops. Okay. You know, we like to tell the nitty gritty. We're gonna spill some tea here. Okay, here we go. The house though. Okay, so first of all, it's really congested in there. I'm gonna say that. It's congested. I'm not gonna say it's small, it's just congested because there's a lot of people in there. And they only allow so many people at a time to be in there, and then so many people have to leave, and then the next people come in they can't overload it because it's a smaller space so a lot of the tables were stand-up they only had booths on the outside and they um, sit you with whoever so like let's say yeah, there's like four people in people. the booth and four people come in they'll put you in the booth with like you're still like hi mm -hmm. what's your name which is fine Did you I don't mind <laughs> like yeah which I don't mind either because you're like okay that's cool but that's I think cool. they could have put a little bit more seating in there for people because you could tell some people were just like I mean, okay. I mean, you could have, they could have put like a second. I think they could have made it a little bit bigger too. Or done a little something. You got plenty of space to do whatever you needed to do. And, um, but that's like the, not the only thing that disappointed me. It's like, no. It's not the biggest thing that really disappointed me. The real disappointment was the drinks. The drinks? I had that, that Jedi mind trick. Which it was, was disgusting. Which was $13.99. Yeah, it's super expensive. Like I said, everything in, Bat in Batu and everything in Black Spire Outpost is super expensive. No alcoholic beverages are under $13 there. I think there might be one and it's spiked cider. Right. But, I mean, it's probably barely spiked. And um, the flight with that thing was like $75. I was like, that's ridiculous. I got a really? pork mug and it was like $30 something dollars. Just because I wanted the pork mug because I love pork. Oh, juice. And I got a non-alcoholic beverage in that because I just didn't feel like drinking. And literally almost half of, probably more than half of the cup was just pure ice. Yeah. It was really disappointing. The, and they put ice in your little drink too. Yeah, it was like. It looked like a shot almost. It looked like a shot. It was uh, vodka and, it was, it was basically cheap vodka and food dye. <laughs> yeah. It was disgusting. Like, I, I you did paid not money like for ice. All. And yeah, ice it was, was a lot of ice, and it was just. It, <laughs> and then Jonathan got some weird fuzzy yeah. thing that like. His was expensive too. Lips. And I'm like, see, it, it, it's just, it's, and it was super expensive. I'm like, there's no point in that. Uh, I think that, um, it, they could have done a better job with yeah. The, with their drinks, I think maybe. Um, yeah. And the pricing really. The like, pricing's outrageous. Yeah, it was disappointing. Like once I got in there, like my suggestion. Here's another suggestion, Disney. My suggestion, you have stormtroopers walk in there yeah. and start harassing some of the customers. Go yeah. ahead, have you seen this Jedi? 
you know things like that make it more immersive because there's just a freaking bar it, I don't get me wrong bar. the bar is really cool it's, it's, cool. it's cool looking but about five minutes you're good yeah like okay? I it's not say... worth waiting in line for two hours no it's not it's not I wouldn't wait in line for two hours. I wait, wouldn't. Wait to come back. No. If you can come, come I, back, come back later. I you wouldn't know, even wait in line half an hour for it, to be honest with you. It's not worth the wait. I would just ask, like, hey, can I go in there and take a peek and take some pictures? And yeah, they'll let you out. They'll, they'll take you in if you want to go look in. And, and, and if you don't want to buy anything there, they'll let you in. Yeah, the, the, the in and out. They'll escort you in. in they have a out. person who does that. Yeah. Okay, you might get a chance to go in there. I don't know how. But the, the hype for um, the cantina was... It was completely over, over, overhyped. It was overdone. Over completely overhyped. Overdone. It, it not was, worth it. It, was, it wasn't worth it. I think... Um, and um, the money. Not worth the money. It's not worth the money. I tried it. It no. was like, eh. I think we tried it. We're good. You saw the video. I was like disappointed. You know? Yeah. I think we tried it. We're good. Let's just say like if they redo it, maybe I'll go back. If they redo the menu or something like, make like it, that. Make it more immersive. Like, yeah. You have some like... You can have like some actors come in there. The stormtroopers. And like they can harass the stormtroopers. You know, or the search can harass somebody. Something needs have, to be. Have a Rodian in there. Come on, you can have a Rodian in there. Why not have a Rodian? Yeah. Put a Rodian. That's the famous scene from Star Wars. Yeah. You know, where yeah. Han Solo shoots the Rodian under the under the table. Come on, you gotta have it. You gotta have something. Yeah, it was it was just really disappointing, and it was just kind of not a good time. It was awesome to see DJ Rex and like get the vibe and feel of it like oh my gosh we're in the cantina like in Star Wars that's so cool and again really well put together really awesome with the way it looked everything like and, that no complaints even if you have um, some bounty hunters in there like Bosk mm -hmm. or Rodian um, you don't have to have Jabba Fett or Jabba the Hutt or, no. you know, or Boba Fett maybe Boba Fett mm -hmm. oh. I or think Jango they should Fett. have Boba Fett at a Boba stand. Boba Fett's Boba. <laughs> <laughs> In Batu, Batu, but I know, Boba. I know, I know that they're trying to stay with the new um, canon. Yeah. So the old stuff is already you know, Boba done. Fett's dead, and you know the Rodian's dead. But why not have some more Rodian Spock? Is still alive. I think the I only think thing dead. that's like so. traditional Star Wars is the Falcon. The Falcon and Chewie. Outside, and Chewie. That's it. Yeah. Okay. The next thing that's the major staple, the Castle of Batu, in the Falcon. shape of a hunk of junk. Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Yes. The fastest that hunk of junk in the galaxy. Is amazing. Yeah. The Millennium Falcon is amazing. It's the jewel. The it's, crown jewel of Batu. It's the best thing. If you have, if you if you want to do anything in Batu, ride the ride the Falcon. Go fly the Falcon <laughs> for yourself. Um, it changes. <laughs> Um, and the, during the daytime, you get a daytime scene. During the oh, nighttime, yeah, you get a that's nighttime right. scene. It's really cool. Um, it changes and with the time of day. You have to like interact with the ride. And you interact with the so ride. So there's like a, there's, a group of six. Yeah, there's a. Uh, and you have a uh, two, two gunners, pilots. Two pilots and uh, two engineers. Yeah. Well, I really didn't want to be pilot because I didn't want to just do that. I was a gunner. Yeah, and I've got to be pilot, which is fantastic. Yeah, and I, I was dreading. I was like, oh my god, I hope I'm not going to be a pilot. I hope I'm not going to be a pilot. What happens? He hands me the thing. He's like, oh, here you go, girl. I'm like, oh, thank you. I'm like, no. And I look at him, and he has this, like, uh, distinct. Like, Trey, no. Trey, you Trey, have Trey. this distinct look on your face when I put my card and it said pilot. And he looked down at his, and he was like, trade. Trade, 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 trade. And we traded. And then the same thing happened to Jonathan yeah, and Rosa. They had a trade, too, because yeah. she's like, I don't want to I don't want to do that. And so I recommend Gunner. Yeah. If you like to blow stuff up, that is the job for you. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, Millennium Falcon is awesome. The queue line is amazing. And guess what, guys? They have three horde nests throughout the queue line. So look for them. Yeah. <laughs> and it's super um, cool. Look, it's, it's the best yeah. looking queue line I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, it, it's better than Indiana Jones. It's really cool. Uh, yeah. yeah I like <laughs> and you don't have to and walk down. You get to see hard. all around the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. When you get on the second, it's on the bottom and cool. on top, you can see. The bottom view of underneath the Falcon when you're on the bottom, and then when you get on the second floor it's before you're about to yeah, like, so go in, you can see the top. It's a whole ship, like it's literally a whole ship. Yeah, it's huge. When when we were in line and on the second floor, I didn't realize how huge it was. And when you walk inside the Millennium Falcon, it's the most <laughs> amazing feeling. A lot of people cried. Yeah, people do. We're in tears. Dudes were crying. Yeah. All right, crying. I and, teared up when I first yeah, saw it I on was the outside. Like, oh my god. Oh. 
all I my like all I really said during the whole video was oh my god. Oh my and god. we saw oh the first time we saw the falcon was at night. Yeah. Was and the lighting nice. effects on that thing at night nice. is mind blowing. Yeah. Like I I really like Batu at night. So definitely <laughs> definitely a must do in Batu. Yeah. So food now not okay, food. Okay. So also in the um. I keep on calling it Black Spire Outpost, but the marketplace, there's little, um, there's a little popcorn place, and that's one of the food places they considered. Um, there's also connected to it is Ronto, Ronto, Ronto Roasters. Roasters. And Both that, places you get AP discount. Not popcorn. No, I got AP. No, no, I got AP. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh shoot, I don't pay attention. Okay, um, Ronto Roasters, yes, you do get AP, and you can also mobile order. Yeah. Yes. You yes. can mobile order. There is mobile order for um, Ronto Roasters. Awesome ambiance. Awesome idea. Yeah. I liked the. I liked it. It was cool. It wasn't like to die for, but it was. It was a really good. It was. Like, it was a good hot dog. Yeah, it was like a hot dog inside of pita bread with some slaw and some beef or like chicken stuff or something. No, it was pork. Pork. Oh, whatever. Are you, well, I don't even know if it, it was, was good. Pork. I don't know. It, it was good. Bad two something. Yeah. Docking Bay Seven. Docking Bay Seven and card whatever. Um. That was good. Docking, is it Docking Bay 7? Docking yeah, Bay 7 and Cargo. No. There's Cargo, there's a word Cargo in there somewhere. Mm, really? Yeah. I thought it was Docking Bay 7. But okay. Um, it's, it was really good. I liked it. She didn't like it. Um, not worth the money. Yeah, it was expensive. You get, you can mobile you order there as mobile well. Mobile order and, you know, and like, you, you know what, hold on. Me, everything in Batu is expensive. Yeah. Let me say it again. Everything in Batu is expensive. Yeah. Is it worth it? Maybe not, but no. the experience is. I think one time they're charging yes. you for the experience. One time, yes. To say I want to go and eat there again, maybe not. I like the ribs; they're bomb. Mm -hmm. I like them, and that blueberry cornbread. Mm. You okay? Basically, what you saw us eat, you can get at Plaza Inn for the same price, and you get lots more. Yeah, but it wasn't about to. <sighs> Whatever. Um, Just saying. If you okay, look. If you want to save some money. Go in there already fed. Yeah, I would say eat before you guys go. And then spend your money on a lightsaber and a, and a droid yeah. and, you know, the Den of Antiquities where they have a bunch of other stuff in there. Yes, so and that one... merchandise. The first order has a little store too. Yeah, there's lots of little stores, but everything in there is expensive. Um, the food places were, there was those two food places, a popcorn stand, and throughout like the little, um, passage where we walked through where the, the uh, newer ride, the next ride's gonna be, I'm sorry. Um, there's like little refreshment stands and they have the blue milk stand. Mm -hmm. The blue milk, I loved it. Yeah, I, I liked it too, but not for $7.99. No AP. Yeah, well, you know, like I said, everything's expensive. And but try it. It's a try, I think it's a must try. Try at least once, if you like the great. Yeah. I went I went back right before we left, I went back and got another one, because I, I wanted to have one yeah, more Yeah, he did. Um, but it's a little bit expensive, so it's seven ninety nine, no AP, um, plus big. tax. <laughs> yeah, it's about that big. I think if they put a little bit more, it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so those are basically the food places. I have a complaint. There's no snacks. There's no, like, lightsaber churros from Batu. Mm -hmm. There's no... Uh, I don't know, planet shaped pretzels. Like, I don't know, something. Let's think of Millennium something. Millennium Falcon there. pretzels or something. Something. There's no snack stands, really. Yeah, that's the, that's the only the snack thing. stand they had, which they consider a snack stand, is the blue milk stand and, and the, popcorn. the popcorn stand. That's yeah. it. That's all they have going on in there. It's kind of annoying because I noticed people like wanted a snack. They don't have like fruit, like a fruit stand or something. So like maybe like a healthier option or something like that. They don't have that. They definitely need a fruit stand or some some sort something, of healthy like, option. Something like I don't know something like they have at Tomorrowland. You know they have that. Yeah, they There's have all around the parks, yeah. but they don't have those options there, and it yeah. was kind and of upsetting I, for like the people who just wanted a snack. And I understand it's still like you know they're still learning to do get everything all set up in there. Yeah, I mean you guys have done it for a long time now, Disney. You should get your stuff together. <laughs> yeah. I just noticed that then there wasn't like sweets. Right. Besides that docking bay. I want uh, a Millennium Falcon beignet or something, you know. Or something. There has or to be an something. Imperial shuttle beignet or something. There I has to be want. something. I'm, I like to eat, man. I'm a chub. Yeah. Right? Oh and you gotta feed the Disney chubs, yo. Speaking of chubs, y'all, um, Millennium Falcon? Chubby friendly. It is chubby friendly. You can ride. It's just a seatbelt. Yeah. But overall, I liked Batu. Yeah, the bathrooms are super cool. Uh, yeah. 
They're, 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 they're all themed. They're all, everything is themed down in there. It's super cool. And in in the bathroom, did you hear DJ Rex? Yeah, you can hear the, yeah, you can hear the, the, the music from the, the, music cantina. From the cantina. They pipe it in. Yeah. Oh, and another thing I saw really cool was in Batu they have the water bottle fountains that are filtered water. Oh, yeah, that is very cool. You just go in there and refill your water bottle. And it looks all like cool-like. Mm -hmm. You just put everything, it underneath and it does okay, it. The details on everything on uh, in, in Galaxy's Edge are amazing. Yeah. They did a fantastic job. The only things that they didn't um, do was uh, food. The, was food. I mean, we need some more food. like snacks and things like that, and then the cost. Yeah. Like, of course, food I and cost. You know, we're paying for the experience to be in Star Wars Galaxy. Yeah. Edge. We get it. We get it. But you didn't have to like you know try some new one on that one. Come on, man. <laughs> My wallet hurts still. It still hurts. Everybody was like, "Why is it so expensive yeah. here?" But you know, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I mean, I I, I would have done it over again, no problem. And I probably would have spent even more money if I had a chance to go back again. Now, let's move on to the tips and what you need to know before you go to Batu. Number one, before you go, when uh, starting the 24th, okay, um, and beyond, and beyond, you're gonna until I think maybe in the uh, following year. I think I don't know how long they're gonna do it, but you're gonna need to have a uh, boarding pass. Uh, you're gonna need, you're gonna it's download. a virtual queue line. It's a virtual queue line, so you need to download On the Disney app. the Disney the app. Disney Park app. Yeah, you gotta download the Disney Park app, log in, have your ticket, and then you're gonna do a. It's a. It's a virtual um, queue line. Mm -hmm. You're gonna submit, and you're gonna be in. It's board, waiting in line for you. You're gonna be in boarding groups, okay? Yeah. So and then everybody's gonna walk in. There is the no time. standby line. There's no standby so line. So keep that in mind. You're if gonna, you're gonna try to stand there, it's not gonna happen. They'll, 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 they'll tell you you gotta you. go. They'll give you a notification mm -hmm. through your phone. That Make says sure you, you push your phone. notifications on on your phone yeah. so that you get it. Yeah, your push notifications on need to be on turned on so that you mm -hmm. you know or else you're gonna miss it. All yeah. Right? And you do have a certain window that um, they allow you to yeah, go in. Yeah, they do. So other than that, you missed your reservation, you're gone. So and it's kind of like an instant reservation. Yeah. And, and then hopefully you get in and you get your um, reservation. Yeah. But they only are gonna allow a certain amount of people during time. They'll tell you to come back. That's why they have a virtual queue line. So you yeah. come back. No standby. Go do your thing, and then and then they'll let you know when you're ready to come in. Mm -hmm. Okay. That being said, if you have uh, a reservation um, for at Savvy's workshop to come back, because let's say you went in and during one time and you set up your boarding pass and you're going in and you went to go make a reservation and tell you, okay, you're going to have to come back at 7 mm -hmm. um, or whatever, then you can go back in. Yeah. And they'll let you back in because you have a reservation, a paid reservation or yep. for a droid uh, for Savage Workshop. Yeah. And um, I would have to say, because you guys are going to be checking your phone, you're, you use your app a lot in Batu, So bring a... Um, power bank of some sort yeah, yeah if you don't have the fuel rod thing that they have at the parks bring a power bank because you're gonna be taking pictures you're gonna be instagramming you're also gonna be having to check your app a lot because everything now is through the app mm -hmm. so you're gonna constantly be checking and if you're roaming around and doing things your battery can die quick especially if you're gonna be using that playing that game with uh, the play app the play app the disney play app because you can it's interactive so you can you can hack some panels. And you make like the droids you do things. You can make the droids stuff like that. talk and spin around and all that. It's kind really of stuff. fun. It's super cool. Uh, it's fun to do, and, and it gives you even something else to do. Yeah, you know? it was totally interactive. <laughs> just totally you won't get personalized. Bored. You won't it's be fun. you won't be bored in Batu. I'll tell you that. No, you won't. You won't be bored. Um, another thing I would say is because it is so expensive when it comes to the food. Um, you are allowed to bring snacks into the park, and you're allowed to bring snacks into Batu. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend taking a backpack or what of whatever you feel comfortable taking and packing your snacks pack right. your snacks there's no shame in yeah that. I, you can go over and uh get some uh, corn dog or whatever i get a pretzel throw back, it in there and go pretzel, it in there and <laughs> head over to batu why not you know, why not <laughs> um you know just before you go yeah grab, and if you're really if you don't if you don't want to spend a lot of money on food yeah. there and you want to spend your money you go on like, merchandise um, I would eat before you go. Eat before you go. Um, there's places in the park that you can go that are cheaper. But you definitely have to try the blue milk. Yeah, that's a must. Um, but I would definitely eat before you go. Take snacks up from your house or even from the park. Yeah. Like if there's something that you specifically want, you can take that, it in that's, there, not a problem. Yeah, that, saving, there's, no, there's no shame in saving some money, you know. No, because you're going to... You're going to spend it somewhere else. You're going to spend it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's no shame. You know. Another trick, another tip. Uh, make sure if you if you have your reservation, you're gonna uh, your boarding pass, you're going in, 
if, if you want to make a lightsaber, I highly recommend that you go f there first and pay and get or in line. Or cantina. Or and if you want to go into the cantina and get in line for Either. the cantina, make your reservation and get in line. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to make a draw, knock them out first. Knock those out first before you go in and, and enjoy mess the Millennium Falcon <laughs> and, and go buy Because the Millennium Falcon is always going to be there. the shops. Yeah. Go straight to where you Knock you those go. three important. Those things those out. Those three things are the main things that most people are going there to go through. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would definitely, if you can, if you want, skip Cantina. Yeah. i leave it down to two. Joy and lightsaber. Lightsaber and a joy. That's the only thing. I mean, lightsaber, hit up first if that's what you want to do. And joy. Then joy. Because the joy is not as. Yeah. I mean, the, the they don't sell out as much as the, as the lightsaber because mm -hmm. they cut you off. And they're like, my experience when I told you guys in my other video. They told me uh, there was no more scrap metal, and then all of a sudden there's scrap metal. Yeah. Miracle. Um, you know? Another thing I would say, too, is keep in mind if you're there past 9, the fireworks do go off. Oh, yeah, and they're very loud. So. They're very, so if you have little ones, it might scare them, or if you have sensitive hearing or something like that, um, along those lines, keep that in mind. You're literally right next to them. Like, I was like, whoa! She was having anxiety. I didn't know. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot that we were at Disneyland, and I forgot I, that I, the I, fireworks I went the video, off. I felt like I was not at Disneyland, and then all of a sudden, boom! boom. And Quick everybody reminder. freaked out. Yeah. I was like, what in yeah. the world? Yeah. People were like dodging, getting down. I'm like, well, oh! It was, it was a quick that's reminder. Right. Oh, hey, you're at Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's, so, but it is awesome to see the is, fireworks over the Millennium. It is the best view ever for the fireworks. Yeah. In bad <laughs> Loud, best but view ever. pretty cool. Um, you don't hear the music going off, but you. The no, you don't. Add your own There's music. There's no Disney inside Batu. Add your own music. Add it. Add it. Yeah. Your own, you why know, not? Because it's, there's no point. Uh, it's the best view. Best view, hands awesome down. Awesome picture to too. watch the fireworks. In Batu. An awesome picture. Oh, of That's course. An awesome picture. Great, great. Uh, you know, um, sick pic moment, like you know, just. just, just also, just don't be afraid to interact with the stormtroopers. With Chewy, with oh, yeah. Ray, don't be afraid to interact with them. Yeah. They want you to do that. Hang on the stormtroopers. They're like, hey, stop, you know, and all that kind of stuff. They're cool. Yeah, they're. I don't. And Kylo Ren walks around. And all they that walk stuff. around. They're not standing there waiting for you to come to them. Like you know how like they have, they usually have like a queue line like, oh, take a picture of Donald. No, they're like walking around, being like skulky and doing things. They it's so fun. They want you to have fun with them. So don't be afraid to interact. Let the kids interact. It's really super fun. Um, I think there's like like a little show type skit thing. So I'm pretty sure they'll eventually Kylo put Ryan. that. Yeah, try to catch that. We didn't get to catch it. Mm -hmm. Um, we missed it both days. And but it does happen during the daytime. It does it happen during at the night. Daytime, yeah. um, at night, there's uh, how do you, you actually? I didn't see any stormtroopers at night. Yeah, and don't and forget, Halloween at night show. everything closes an hour early. Yeah, it closes at eleven. The restaurants. Not twelve. The the docking bay seven 11. and everything else closes at eleven. Mm -hmm. So and even dark on dars, they were closing early. Yeah, too. dark on dars, uh, den of antiquities closes at eleven. But all the little shops are still open. Yeah, but. Awesome, you guys have to go. If you, you get a chance, have to go. get a chance to go. Um, tips and tricks, that's all we pretty much have. I mean, really, there's not a lot of uh, like tips and stuff that we can give you except for get get to the spot that you, if you want a lightsaber, get it done. And if you want to um, enjoy it, get that done first yeah. before you go and do Mess around else. and look and yeah. adventure. Because because you'll, you'll set up a reservation and then go, okay, mm -hmm. come back. Yeah. And then they'll let you come back. And then They're you really can good go do everything else. Um, also, um, Boarding passes, make sure you download the app, mm -hmm. make sure you turn on notifications. Make sure your phone is charged. And make sure your phone is charged because if you, your phone is dead and you and they get caught, they're going to have a short window that they won't let you in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, and before we go anywhere, and I'm pretty sure they do have, um, I forget what it's called, but like if you have a little one and they're not tall enough to ride the Falcon, one parent can wait while one parent rides and then they swap out. Yeah. Pack your patience. And your water. And your water, and just have a blast. Yeah. All right, guys. That's a that's that's it for our uh, review on uh, Bat Galaxy Two. And Bat Two, and um, hopefully you got some informative information. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, feel Hit free us up. to ask them. Comment below. Tell us what, if you if you want any specific information we can give you. Um, we'll try to answer the question for to you. To the best way to we can. To the best of our ability. And then, <laughs> um, also, um, don't forget to subscribe and like this video at the end. And also turn on those notification icons. Ring a ding ding. So you get notified when we post some videos. Alright guys, big chubs, little chubs out.